Okay, welcome back. Now we want to talk about what's happening with an input. So we want to read something from the world. What do we want to read? We want to, to read the status of a, a little switch. You do have a little switch in your uh, starter kit. That's this little fella here, looking like this. A little bit like a bug, yeah. However, just four, four crawlies, <laughs> uh, four legs, uh, and there is there is this button on the top. I ah, come here. There is this button on the top. The big black thing is the button, and if you press it. You hear? You hear it click. So that's a typical a typical button. It has four legs. What does this mean? Four legs. Uh, well, it's just two legs are always connected. These these two legs and these two legs are always connected, and the button is closing the connection between this part of the button and this part of the button. Okay, so actually there are two contacts. You can push the button in in your breadboard. I would recommend to do this to do this on this on this position here, yeah, this notch here. It does not fit perfect, just use a little bit force, yeah. gentle force, yeah. don't break the legs, they are not that sturdy, because it's a very small button. And here, now it's connected. Yeah. How do we test if this is working or not? I also, again, I will again use an LED to test this. So we'll, I will put in an LED, I will use a blue one, why not, blue one, uh, and from the button I will go to the LED, okay. like this. From my Arduino, from the 5 volt of my Arduino, I will go to the button. What have I missed? Again, the resistor. Okay, so let's go directly to the to the LED. I will use a resistor between. And from here, I will go to the minus bar. Maybe also a little bit hint for you. I also like to connect those two distribu power distribution bars because then I only have to connect one time the five volts. I'll do it here. And everywhere else, I have five volts available. Five volts and also ground available. I will also connect ground. That's it. Yeah. What happens from plus? We go to the distribution bar. From the distribution bar, we go to the button. From the button, we go to the resistor, through the resistor, through the LED, to the minus distribution bar, and back to the back to the Arduino. So whenever we press this button, the LED 
should light. Hopefully. I will connect now the I will connect now the board. Bim bim bim. There it goes on. Nothing happens. That's good. If I press the button, ah, there's light. So the button is working. That's good. Yeah. The button is doing nothing more than connecting this with this side. If I press, it's connected. If I release, it's not connected. That's it. And if, it, if it's connected, the charges, in this case the electrons, can flow and this will light up the LED. Okay, so we verified the button is working. Good. Yeah. What do we want to do next? Next, we don't, do not want to simply use this button here as in hardware. Now the other unit is just a power supply, nothing more. Uh, next thing we want to do is to read in the status of the button. Yeah. And if the status of the button is true, so if something is pressed, then we want to turn on the LED by software. Okay. So I will open this connection here. Bing. The connection between the button and the LED. Yeah. From the button, we now go, go to some input. I will use pin number four. Now it's labeled four. Okay. And like we have before from pin number two, I will go to the LED. It's already blinking, as you see. Why is this? Because it's still the old program in there. Uh, it remembered the old program, of course. Okay. So that's our hardware setup. Now we want to to program. This is the old program. I will change this program now. I will save it under a new name. Uh, save as second exercise. I will call it button. We do have now a second pin involved. Yeah? We have the button pin. Should write it correct. Define button pin. And this button pin is pin number four. Yeah? As you see, I'm already again using uh, again using a compile time constant because I like it that way, because then the code is much more readable. I will remove this comment here, but I will add a comment here. Use LED pin as an output. And now the button pin is of course not an output, but it's an input. I will also comment this line, even if it's a little bit overkill. Okay, so that's it. Pin mode. Now the button pin is an input. What, uh, that's it for the setup part. What have we do? What do we have to do next? Yeah. The first thing which should happen is we read the value from the, the button. Yeah. 
it we will read an integer value. Now we do the first time that we enter a variable. Yeah, there are several types of variables. One type of variable is an integer value, and it's called int. Yeah. And I will call it button state. I will initialize it with zero. Don't forget the semicolon. Yeah. So an integer value, an int, is nothing more than a, a number. Yeah. But not a common number. It's a number. Yeah. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Nothing in between. And in this integer value we want to store the current status of the button. So if it's pressed, one, if it's released, zero. Yeah. So button state should be, and now, I mean, one command is named digital write. This is for writing the output. And of course, for reading the input, the correct command is digital read yeah. and again we need the pin number and that's the button pin command read status of button okay so now in this button state there's written one or there's written two uh zero sorry <laughs> one if the button is pressed yeah if five volts are at the pin with the button pin so at pin number four if there are five volts then we will get here one if on pin number four on the button pin there is zero volts we'll get here zero okay. now we come to a new statement the if condition, the if statement, because we want to distinguish if the button state is one or not one. Yeah. So if if button state is one, okay. don't forget to use the double equation uh, sign because that's a comparison. A single equation you will set you will set the variable on this side with a double equation sign you will compare this variable with this with this value. Okay. And there is also an else. This is this is how an if statement looks like. If some condition, then we go here and we can also do an else part. So this is if, if not that condition. Yeah. Then we come into this part. This, this, uh, these signs here are always somehow grouping a group of, of statements. Okay, so if the button state is 1, We want to have this high. If the button state is low, we want to set the uh, output low. Okay. The rest I don't need. I will also delete this this uh, compile time constant because I don't use it anymore. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. I will comment this here. If button is Pressed. Turn on LED. Else. Turn off LED. Okay. I think this should work. Yeah. Let's download. Let's download and see 
save it. I always say it download because I'm used to it. Here it's named upload. It's just wording. Doesn't really matter. We want to get it on the controller. Okay. What is happening? Pooh. Does not look too good, right? It's flashing somehow. Pa, 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 pa. What does this mean? If I press the button, what is happening? Ah, it's steady on. Yeah. If I release the button, oh, still looks still looks strange. Yeah. Press the button, steady on. Release the button, blinking a little bit darker. Hmm. Let's see what might be the issue. Okay. So I will pull this cable off here. Yeah. And now if I put it to 5 volts, that's the input. If I put it to 5 volt, it's lit. If I put it to 0 volt, ah, it's dark. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Lit, dark. But if I have it, if I have it just in my hands, so if this loop is open, if this loop is open, then I have it seems I have an issue. Yeah? So I need to pull it somehow to zero volts. Yeah? Plus is working, zero. And here with my switch I have the issue. Now it's open. If I press, I will directly connect it to I will directly connect it to 5 volt, then I have a steady steady light. If I release, this is just open. This is not set to zero volt. And you see if I dangle around here a little bit, I do have very different different reactions. Yeah, sometimes it's off, sometimes it's blinking, sometimes it's dark, sometimes not. Why is this? Why is this? This is your task to find out. Yeah. Good luck with this. But basically, if it's looking like this, or very similar, that Whenever you press the button here, it seems to work. Whenever you release the button, it is not, it is doing something, something not defined. Yeah? Then you are correct. Yeah? You did everything, everything correct. There is a reason for this behavior. Try to figure out what it is. Thanks for listening.